Welcome, everybody. We are so excited. I am Katie Kleinsmith. I am CAO with Innovate, and I have a fun group of people here with me today. And we're really excited because we are celebrating our one year anniversary of the Innovate skincare launch. And I have Dr. Anthony Kleinsmith, Dr. K with me. And we are excited to, as a father-daughter team with the company, put together a product with both of our backgrounds, my background being in master aesthetics. And he, of course, is our master formulator, PhD for Innovate, all of our products. And we combined the two backgrounds that we had. We had so much fun putting the Innovate skincare line together. Dr. K, how was that for you? You know, it was fantastic because uh, you've kind of grown up in this arena, right? Yes. <laughs> so back in production. And 20 years ago, I built this formula that I'm holding in my hand. I found this, and this is the basis for um, the Innovate skincare. But you took it further, right? You used your, your, your background and your education to say, you know what, Dad, let's, let's combine mother's milk from the land, colostrum, Mother's milk from the from the sea for coitin, and let's add some other things in for all sorts of benefits. Right, we're never looking for a singular benefit; we're looking for plural. So you took something that I designed 20 years ago and seriously enhanced it. So it's it's been fun for me to watch you right get into into my world into the formulating side of things. Yes, it was a blast. It was a blast. And we had a lot of fun testing the different raw ingredients and getting into, you know, the different uses and different potential for a lot of different things. And then utilizing our ingredients like colostrum and fucoidin and different things and putting it all together. It was a lot of fun. And then it was a lot of fun having our before our official launch, we did something that I don't know if everybody knows about, but we did have, I think it was maybe just shy of three months, maybe two months, a trial use period where we had a group of people, um, different ages and different skin types using the products, the actual products, the cream and the serum. And we have some of those people on our call today. We have four of them. We have Salian, Darla, Karen, and Lucretia. You guys were all part of our trial period for the skincare line. And that was well over a year ago. So we want to check in with you now. It's our one-year skincare anniversary. And we'll start with you, Salian. I know that you have amazing results. We can see your before and after pictures from the trial period. So that's just that two to three month, you know, time frame, and your picture is pretty significant before and after. Can you expand on what you experienced both in the trial period as well as a year later? Absolutely, Katie, and I'm so glad to be here. I will, uh, I will tell you up front, I was so excited yet very skeptical of a skincare because you name it, I've tried it. I don't have a background in skincare, but I could tell you I could probably build a clinic with how much money I've spent yes. on my face, challenging skin as a child, uh, you know, into my teens and then into my adulthood. And so I was excited because, you know, colostrum and Lee Z on the inside is unbelievable what it's done for me. And so on the outside, you know, I, I had that hope, right? Um, and you see my before and after. I think my before and after is just like a couple of weeks and you can see the difference. But oh my goodness, you don't even know the long-term use for my skin. It is so much smoother. It is, uh, the the skin tone is so much more even. Um, you know, I'm I'm 39. And so we're starting to experience those, those kind of wrinkles around our eyes and around our smile lines. And y'all, that's literally disappearing. Um, it's amazing. I love uh, the long-term use. And, and I'll be up front. I just use it once a day in the morning. Mm -hmm. I use the serum and I use the cream. Um, and then at night, I will just put the moisturizer around my eyes. Um, and the puffiness, the dark circles you can see in my before and afters, it's so much better. I um, mean, I can't literally say enough about this product. It's probably my favorite product. Awesome. And I love that you said, you know, as we start to age, <laughs> we may, you know, and 39 is young, you're a baby, but it's also very preventative. And I see, you know, we have 
younger people on here and, and every skin type and different people. And I have even someone that I talked to the other day is um, just 19 and just baby skin, soft, lovely. And she uses right. it. It's very preventative that way as well. Um, let's hop over to Darla and wow, your before and after from just the trial period. So that's not even a total of three months. Wow. So let's talk about that, what your experience was then and what you went through, how you used the product. And then a year later, what does that look like for you? So really the same kind of story as Salian. I love her story because I can so relate. And I think that is what is so powerful here is that we're so relatable. We share our story and so many people are going through what we've been through. I had the same thing, challenging, very, very challenged skin, very red, very puffy. I had some issues, some diagnosis of things going on and it was erupting on my face. And so here I am, I am in skincare. I am, you know, a makeup artist and I'm having to deal with all of these issues on my skin. And I shared with you guys a year ago, what that did to my self-esteem. You know, I felt like I was always covering up here I was making women beautiful and they would always say, oh, you're so pretty. Your face is so pretty. But underneath, I knew what was going on. I just was really good as a makeup artist to cover it up. And who likes to cover anything up? You hate to do that, right? It mm -hmm. really bears on your self-esteem. And so for me, within two weeks, just like Salian, within two weeks, that is that picture that you guys are going to see. And it speaks for itself. I just was blown away. Now, you know, a year later, I'm looking at the things like, okay, because I was dealing with all of these issues with my skin, I was always trying to control the problem, right? And so I didn't do the preventive stuff when I was younger, mm. because I was so focused on what was erupting on my face and what right. I was going to deal with. So I didn't, I didn't focus on that. But here we are a year later. And I can tell you guys, I have a sphere of influence because me and my husband were pastors. And so we mm -hmm. deal with a lot of people have a big group of people around us. And the compliments that I get you guys, that's what really means a lot to me, because I can walk in with just a little bit of makeup. And they're like, man, it's been you, you look younger than you did a year ago. So now at 58, I'm doing the preventive because all the other issues mm -hmm. are under control, right? So now I'm working on, you know, what we get at 58 salient <laughs> is down here <laughs> in this area, but I'm working on it. And so that at nighttime, the serum and the cream, I'm really focusing now on, you know, the next 20 years. We're all going to age, but I want to age well. And so I've noticed, Dr. K, you guys, it's just been amazing, Katie, that I can see, even though I wasn't doing it younger because I was dealing with all these other issues, that mm -hmm. even at my age, I am reversing some of those effects of aging and I'm aging well. And that's okay. I'm going to age, but I want to age well. That's what's important yes. at this stage. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you mentioned something as you are a makeup artist and I um, actually am Mac certified Mac cosmetics. I love makeup. I love playing with makeup. I think it's so much fun. And something that I've noticed is I don't need a primer for my makeup. I just throw the skincare on and it keeps it there all day. Have you noticed anything with that? Because I've heard you mention that before. I want to talk a little bit about that because we love our makeup, right? Us women and we put our makeup on and it's so much fun and that gets crazy. I mean, you have so many different products and if you can eliminate a primer, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> you can eliminate a lot of stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> and that's yes. what's been happening. I've been eliminating several steps like heavy powders, heavy primers, heavy creams that, you know, work with the puffiness and all of those things I've eliminated. And I can say that if I can eliminate them, everybody needs to give it a try because if you can take some of that stuff out of your regimen, you're taking out all kinds of chemicals. See, this is the mm -hmm. thing as an esthetician. So I'm a licensed esthetician, also co licensed cosmetologist. If you can eliminate those chemicals, you know, that's amazing. That's going to help you age well right there. And then you have this amazing product 
to use. I wear half or a third of the makeup I used to wear. Now I dolled up for today, of course. Um, yeah, but, sure. <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> recorded, but during the day, I don't wear the makeup. All these years that I had to cover up, that's not happening now. So very important that we can eliminate a lot of stuff on our face because the more stuff we put on, the more chemicals we're putting on. And so that brings us to that place that you and I have talked about, Katie. We've looked a long time for many, many years. They have said natural doesn't work. Natural will only get you so far. Well, my goodness, I have not plateaued in a year. Everything's just getting better. So natural does work. If you're in a situation like we are with Dr. K and you, uh, we found the, uh, what is that? The golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now I'm curious, what, um, what does your skincare regimen look like with the Innovate products? So now I'm just doing in the evening, serum and cream. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. Karen, you're up. Let's talk about your experience in the trial period. I know and I want to talk about you, but Randy as well, your husband, a little bit. I know he's not here today, but let's talk about him because I know he had experienced some pretty significant results as well. And then let's start with you. What did that look like for you? And what does the skincare look like for you a year later after the trial period? The biggest thing for Randy was that uh, actually during the trial part, he and I both uh, shared the trial. And so mm -hmm. um, anyway, I used it on Randy to make sure that, because he had these splotches and things, you know, age brings on. And at the time of use, Randy was almost 70. And I was almost 64 at the time that we tried these products and everything. I had a lot of issues going on because gravity and age were taking over, okay? And my mother, kind of a heretically, my mother and my grandmother had this like box jaw deal. And I kept going like this, you know, because I saw what was happening and, all, and I thought, mm, I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. So when I started this, 37 days later, my face was phenomenal. And I mean, and I took the picture at 10 o'clock in the morning at the same place, 30, one day on day one, and 37 days later took it at the same identical time and place. So it's all the lighting and everything would be the same. So, and then with Randy, yeah, it's just like this age things going on with us and everything but it changed it so much within two weeks on him that i'm like wow now i had some of those same things going on with my face also and but i've always had nice skin it's just that there were some things creeping up and creeping down on me that i wasn't really feeling good about <laughs> um i'm not a person who likes chemicals at all so the idea of the fact that this is absolutely 100% natural really, 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 really did boost me. Um, yeah, you get my excitement going. But results after 37 days, oh my word, I cannot begin to tell y'all. Um, I feel good. I like what I see whenever I look in the mirror. I like the fact that, you know, this year I'll be 65. I'll be a dang good looking 65 because of this. Absolutely. But because of other <laughs> things going on with me. Also, I'm putting nutrition in me. I'm putting nutrition on the uh, outside of me. And I like me. Okay. I like, I like where I'm going. You know, now this 65 mark is going to be a little difficult for me. So y'all do a lot of praying on July 1st there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, not quite. Good. But anyway, but you know what? I'll embrace it. Randy and I both do. Brent, Randy is phenomenal looking. I mean, I think so. To be 70 years old. I told him yesterday he was in the kitchen. I took a look at him. I took a look at his face. And I said, you know, you're that silver fox that a lot of ladies yes, like to have. Yes. I said, not happen to that. Silver fox. So, and I owe every bit, 100%. I'm going to be very, very straightforward with you. I owe 100% of this to Dr. K. These are the results that women, if they will try it, 
I tell mm-hmm. people 90 day challenge on any, any of it, but you know what? 30 day challenge on this facial product, you're going to see results. Mm-hmm. I use the product every morning. I went from, like Darla said, heavy makeups to contouring mm-hmm. to uh, sealing and everything to where I put on powder and some blush. Whereas I took 30 minutes to put my makeup on, I take 30 minutes now to get dressed and I'm out of the bathroom and I'm completely ready for the day. I get a lot of compliments on my skin. Uh, I'm in retail. So um, a lot of people, a lot of ladies tell me, they'll say, Hey, I, you know, do you use anything in particular? I'll say, yeah. And you know, the one time after uh, about three months after starting this product, I had a lady walk up to me and she said, Hey, she said, you have just got to tell me what you had done on your face and who your doctor is. And I said, I'll be happy to. His, his name is Dr. Anthony Smith. Yeah. Is he Dr. from here? I said, no, he's from you. And I said, <laughs> and, and I'll talk to the magic he serum today still uses. Cream. Yeah, she today. <laughs> That's well, good. Uh, she is a faithful customer. So she saw the proof in the pudding, so... And I see the proof in the pudding. Uh, our products are phenomenal. Um, and again, I thank you. I thank uh, Dr. K and both of you too, Katie, for the opportunity to be able to turn back the clock. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Karen. And I remember this is why I brought up Randy too, because I remember we we had our skincare launch um, in February, February 15th in Arkansas. And I remember before we even did that, during the trial period, I flew out to Arkansas in December and I met with you and Randy and I'd met with you before, I'd seen you before, but even the difference, you know, I saw you in December, I saw a difference then. I saw you then for the launch in February and from December just to February, I even noticed a difference and it impressed me. I was like, wow this actually really works. I mean, this is amazing. Of course I, you know, believe in the products. It's my product. It's my baby, but just seeing the results and seeing in, in that time frame, that's the thing. It's that short time frame that I was blown away by. And Randy, yeah, he's a silver Fox. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, Lucretia, Hi, let's baby. talk a little bit about you. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Thanks. You were in our trial period as well. So what, I know you are one of the young babies here. What (laughs) were your skincare, um, I guess, concerns and going into the trial and what did that look like for you going into it at that time? So, um, I have always had, it it runs in my dad's family, very, very strong, um, adult blemishes, just always just absolutely the worst and um super dark circles under my eyes my whole life it's something I've fought with even even as a child um Mm. I'm 22 years old and looking at my eyes I look a lot older um and so I was super excited when I find found out about the skincare line and when y'all asked me to be a part of the trial because I wanted to see what would happen with those things because those were things that just mm. really wore down on my confidence. I had some facial scarring from a dog attack um, and I just, I was not super confident with my face, um, mm. but I got started using the skincare line and I started noticing that the dark circles under my eyes were not severely dark the way they were. And then they, it just seemed like they started going away. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, my, my skin started clearing up and I noticed that the, the scars on my face from that, um, from that dog bite were getting smaller and they were wow. going to the same, sh- like the same color as the skin out around it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were no longer discolored. And so I, I was super, super excited about that. And I'm one of these people that I don't have a facial routine. I don't have a skincare routine. That's not who I am. Um, I, I stay really, really busy. I take a shower when I get home, I eat supper and I'm ready to relax and sit down and not yes. do yes. you know anything <laughs> to 
card games with the with the younger siblings and I'm I'm done for the night. Um, yep. But I do try and use the skincare line, especially if I start noticing some blemishes or if my dark circles get like to where I'm just like, I look like I'm sick and I know I'm not. <laughs> um, and it's so funny because my boyfriend and I are long distance. And so we do uh, video chatting at night before mm-hmm. we go to bed. And one night I used the skincare line about 45 minutes before I called him. And I called him and he's like, something looks different about you tonight. And I was like, (laughs) what do you mean? He's like, I don't know. Your eyes just look really, really good tonight. Like something different about your eyes. And I laughed so hard and I told him what it was. And he's like, well, that really worked. (laughs) (laughs) It it cracks me up. But yeah. Mm. That's, that's a, yeah, that's a good story. I will say, um, I struggle with the dark circles too, like big time. And, you know, if Dr. K makes me work late, you know, the next day, (laughs) that puffiness gets there. Um, a lot of what you'll typically see in like under eye creams and different skincare around the eyes is a high amount of caffeine. And what that does is it brings down that puffiness and the dark circles, but in turn, it dries that out and it makes it worse. It's a temporary fix. And that's what I've struggled with is, okay, that's temporary. It works for the day, but it goes away and it it comes back even worse. And I've noticed with our skincare line, we don't have that. And we don't have that adverse effect of it coming back and looking even worse um, because we don't have any of that, you know, in the skincare line. It's not a Band-Aid. It's getting to the source of different things. And that's something that I've really enjoyed. And I've seen a lot of and talked to a lot of people that they do use that under the eye area you know, specifically, they'll put it on, this is a good finger to put it on. It's the most um, weakest finger. So it's very gentle, but I've noticed, you know, that, that stood out to me because that's something that I struggle with. And then I know a lot of people do. So I love that, you know, your boyfriend commented on your eyes and, you know, just a, a brighter, shinier, you know, look there. And I think that's really special. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. Um, Let's jump over to Aaron. And let's talk about what your skincare routine looks like for you. What does that look like? I know that some of us take our time. Some of us don't care. What does it look like for you? Because I know Dr. K is a guy and he doesn't want to, you know, he just throws it on. What does it look like for you? What's the routine? Of course. Yeah. Well, I probably just throw it on too. Um, If I'm not at work, I'm at the gym. So, you know, I, I, I don't really, I don't really have time. I just run out the door, but I, I just throw it on. And for here in Louisiana, um, especially during the cold, you know, my skin will get so, so dry and just chip away, especially my hands. They'll mm-hmm. just chap and get so chapped. And I just hate it. My forehead would look terrible and all, you know, super red. Um, but that's why I do it, you know, just because mm-hmm. I don't like that. It hurts, you know, and so that's why yeah. I do it. Um, but whenever it first came out, my mom, she loved the stuff. Um, and then I ordered some around the summertime and it came in and Mm -hmm. she's like, Oh, is that for me? I said, no, it's mine. (laughs) It's mine. She she was, she was upset. She's like, you're 26. You don't need this. But I started it because I love to lay out in the sun. I'm kind of a, Mm -hmm. kind of a sun person. I, I love that vitamin D and that feeling that you get when you lay out in the sun, but it's terrible for your skin. So I started doing it and I, I loved it. I love the after effects. Like I never got too, too much sun. I never got too burnt mm-hmm. and I never had any like long-term peeling or anything. It was just cool, you know? So um, then, you know, for the winter time, I got it again and just started doing it for the winter time. So I'm not like avidly using it all the time. I just mm-hmm. get it when I know that this, the weather's going to hurt my skin and yes. it, it's awesome. Yes, I love that you mention um, both sun and then just seasonal, seasonal skincare changes we all experience. And yeah. of course, that's environmental where we live and what that actually means and looks like, um, you know, with the weather and different seasonal changes. Um, but I, I like that you mentioned the sun as well, because I'll let Dr. K jump in here a little bit. In the skincare line, we have our colostrum and we have our fucoidin. 
And with that, um, I know I've heard some people say they've even gone to the beach um, with just the skincare line. They went on a walk on the beach. They forgot their SPF and their back was burned red and they had the skincare line on their face and they said, wait a second, my face looks fine, but my back is burned. What, why? And Dr. K, I'll let you jump in here. Well, there, there are different factors within the, uh, in both, right? That literally seaweed doesn't dry out like obviously it is in the water, but it gets, it gets pounded by sun. It is, cocoidin is the natural protectant that that seaweed uses so that it doesn't get scorched like we do in the sun, right? And I've had other folks who, they, when they were able to travel, they were in Jamaica. And, and you're right, Katie, their face was very nice, very tan, and, the, and it bubbled on the back. Mm-hmm. Well, they actually used the serum on the back, and the very next day, they're tan again. So they didn't even bother with, uh, with sunscreen. They just started using the serum as a natural sun tanning lotion, so to speak, and they came out beautiful. Wow. So, yeah, I I love that because I, well, with my background too, I'll go into that a little bit. I have, I I strayed, I went um, through schooling and I worked in a medical spa. I did, you know, the Botox and the different things, the lasers. And I've always been very interested in skincare. And I thought, wow, I use everything for my face and my skin and I take great care of it. And one of those things has always been sunscreen. And that's going back to, you know, the makeup thing with you know, Darla mentioned, if we can't eliminate one step, and that was always a step in the morning for me is putting sunscreen on, even in the winter, we live here in Utah and, you know, it's kind of funny, but the snow and the different weather in the winter time here in Utah and a lot of other areas as well, that sun protectant is actually more important or as important as you know, in the summertime when the sun is out, but that reflection from the snow, SPF has always been something so important. And in the skincare world, it's so important. It's gold. And if you can eliminate that and eliminate the different chemicals that go with that, that you're putting on your face and still get that protection and the benefits from that, that's beautiful. Um, Let's go over to Wendy. And Wendy, I know that you weren't here with us at the time of the skincare launch or the trial period, but I know that we saw you um, in Texas in August. I think you started using it around that time, so several months now. Um, What were your concerns or if you had any skincare concerns going into it? And what has your experience been like using the skincare line? Well, I actually have some really great results. Um, I had been going for years because I had sun damage, lots of sun damage my whole life. And so I'd been going to actual spa and get my face lasered. I had to go every two to three mm-hmm. years to get my face zapped. You know, they burn it and it falls off. And, yep. you know, <laughs> at the, you know, when I first started, I was working so much. I was so tired. I had puffy eyes and, you know, I had lost a hundred pounds. So I had like loose skin on my face and, right. you know, it is all tightened up. Not only my puffy eyes, but like right you know the lines in between there's gone my brown spots I do not have to go I had such a significant difference that when I I actually believe it or not I went and got Botox and I'm a bungee instructor so I exercise Mm -hmm. almost every single day sometimes three or four times a day well I went and got the Restylane where they inject Mm -hmm. your face well I sweated it out yep I knew where that was going yes I know uh, I went back to see my spa lady and she, when she seen the difference in my face, she signed up right on the spot and she has thousands wow. and thousands of dollars worth of machines that she uses mm-hmm. on people. And she went ahead and signed up because she just seen the difference in my face and my skin from only using it a few weeks. Wow. That's, that's amazing. And I, I love that you shared that your, your skincare lady, your esthetician in the medical spa signed up because I've been in that environment and you are around lasers and the Botox and the different things. And not only that, you're around like so many different brands of different skincare products. And there are so many of them, right? And there's so many ingredients and this and that. And the price tag on those things is ridiculous. And the active ingredients in those things is this big very small, very low, and you, 
you see it all and it all works, but you're using, you know, 20 of the products and you're making those last as long as you can because they're in a little bottle like this and they're expensive. And I love that she signed up because she's seen it all. I know what that environment looks like. And to sign up for, you know, this, this thing over here where um, it's actually making a significant difference in that short time. And you did go through, I, I knew where you were going with you exercise and you sweated all of that injectable out because mm-hmm. that's what happens. Yet you still go back and she saw that significant change. That's, that's pretty amazing. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Um, this is exciting. We're excited. We love our Anovate Skin Care. And we love that we are celebrating our one-year anniversary together. So thank you all for being on this call. And thank you, Dr. K. We're excited to continue the Innovate skincare journey and see where we're all at next year and where some of our new people are at and what their experiences will be as well. So thank you, Dr. K. Anything to add? You know, folks, it's, it's always fun to see changes on the inside, right? We, we help a lot of people out there. But it's also extremely nice to look at all of you on this uh, on this Zoom and see the changes on the outside. So Novate, a new you is not just on the inside, it's on the outside, it's, it's all around us. So welcome to a new you. Yes. yes. Yeah. Awesome, well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Yes, okay. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.